Welcome to Avalon Hills, Third Reich. I'm Magican, and I have played this before. I played the campaign game, and I had a little problem where I had actually won all over the whole Europe, Northern Europe, also uh, Southern Europe, and a little bit of the Northern Africa. That's this um, campaign is about. But I had an issue where. Um, to conquer England, where the United States were there, and then there was a bark in my save game. So um, I'm thinking of doing this again, but not taking the campaign, but taking the 39 scenario. Uh, I do not know what the difference is, except that the campaign is trying to hold to the, the lines there, but it's not really happening because the Soviets are attacking Finland before they can join the Axis and they are also attacking different areas that should not be attacked so let's try that. I will remove the, um, the sound because no no I will just keep that it's nice to have that. I will have the computer speed set at 5 else it will be too fast and I will again play the Axis and sometime I will also play the allies and maybe other times I will remove that enforcement deployment limit you can enforce so the computer will play a little bit differently and maybe also a little bit better maybe a little bit worse I've tried it and sometimes I actually play really good other times I play really bad so let's just uh, go for it I really like this game it's a very good game it's it's strategic it's it's fun and it's not that complicated to go in, get into uh, let's see here. Let them put in. You can see them doing it, and I've put that a little bit down in the, the uh, harder speed, a faster speed. Then it will be not being that fun because that will be in so fast you cannot see what the the AI is doing. Let's just keep. I would like to put that here. I could also put that here. If they take this area, then they take the the capital. I just need to have one there. That's the deployment limit. You have to hold that deployment limit else you cannot continue. Let's just do that also down here. I set them there. Oh, you have, if you want to remove them you can see here you click outside the box and then you click back here and then I would like to set that there instead and also there and then I will get these two maybe not maybe I should use them for no let's just keep them here and this one I like that to go up here if we have some French forces we need to take care of or areas we need to take uh, later on it will not be that problematic and then again I would like to put in an airfield you have to click on the question mark tr press the airfield let's see one two three four five that's Cairo and that's this if you put that up here it will only one two three four five you cannot reach Cairo Cairo and there we go and I still have these and I will put them here and one two there and to run Tarente here oh, what is it's pronounced and then I will put a little bit up here in the beginning it's not that hard to get troops here. I will put that there and then I will have Rome protected a little bit later. You will get more troops for Italy's forces later on. You can see the growth rate is only 20% for Italy. And that's a little pretty low. and They do not get that many points for the continuing but the French has more. They have 30% but German has 50% so that's pretty hard and pretty tough for them. okay they are just putting them in here and uh, it depends on how fast you can do the, yeah the England has 40% of growth rate 
That's why it's really important to get the England out of the game right away. As, uh, not England, but France out of the game right away as soon as possible. But of course, to uh, limit the losses in uh, Poland also. Uh, my historical count was they lost around 40,000 troops in Poland. I'm not really that sure if that's the correct number. Uh, it's something I had from the history book. I like to read the histories about what happened here in the Second World War. But uh, sometimes I remember wrongly, of course. If you do not read them occasionally, look at those troops there. Um, they have a lot of panzers, but they have around 8,000 panzer units, the Russians. But again, the issue with the Russian war that they were really bad, the, the ones that had, they really got the T-41, uh, T-34, and the KV-1, and the E also version, um, a little in the 41, they had it, uh, and they actually used it on the front, close up, when the, the German attacked. They up here with Leningrad, they had some of them put in uh, the KV-1s, but the problem with them was the crew was not really that equipped to handle the tanks, so they were quickly knocked out. So um, let's just, and then the, of course the T-34, let's see here, what can we put in? Okay. You can see here deployment limit at least 20 ground or air unit factories. Okay, and I will put all the air I got. I need to have that to this area. So it's one, two, three, four. That's good. And it's and here Braslau. And Königsberg. One, two, three. And I have to put in, it goes pretty fast on these, so I have to really have the right amount here. Let's just do that. One, two, three, that's fine. And here we can put one, two in, and these. One, two, three. Yeah, I could put them here, I could put them here, I could even go here, but one, two, one, two. That's down there. I could attack there and uh, try to keep the air forces out there. Let's just protect the line over here. That's also important. One, two. That was wrong. And protect the line because I like to take Luxembourg also. Even that's not in the campaign mode. They take Luxembourg nearly every time, but that is also a thing you have to remember not to do that. And you can see I do not have any protection here. With uh, there is some difference with the units. So let's just say Eastern Front. Yes, nothing else. No, just keep it that, and then. Exit and Italy, the same. They're not at war with anyone, so it's fine to just keep it like that. And then we have the good chance to move these troops. I could do that. And there. And then we can attack here and I have to keep these troops in and then we'll be able to attack with with all of these and of course the airfield 
I think that's actually what I have to do this time. Let's do that, then the combat. If I do that, then I'll put the Air Force up. No, nope, they did not put the Air Force up. Normally they actually do that, but... One, two, three, four, they cannot reach them. That's a problem there. I actually attack the area where I should not. So, learn from that. And they will put two in, that will be four. That's one, two, three. Let's do that. One, two, three. Yes, just keep that going there. I have to do this, and they lost that and bring these two in and then you can do this afterwards you can attack with these and I have nothing else to attack with so now exploration phase and have to do this press on that one and say these two they can go in here and make an attack and I say fine and then select the breakthrough I've already done that here but I've already moved them so I need to wait another one and that's the movement and they are already moved in here so it's fine I should not do anything else and then there's combat and in the combat phase you can only use these two limits these two I can show you here click and click and then you can use the fighters that's the only thing extra you can put in and that's really nice to have that opportunity and I get one to three instead of just one to two and that's important and there we go the exchange will have been a bad one, but the rest was quite good, and then Poland is conquered. That was pretty easy, but sometimes it goes wrong. Last time it did go a little bit wrong, but not that much that it cost too many troops. So that's it. Unit constructions, and now you can see how much we can construct. I always buy all eight of these guys, because we need to really get this going and I do that and I also put two in Berlin I always I normally not always do like this but I do not want our troops to be attacked on the front and they move down here that's not what I really would like to have that's why I do this sometimes I remove them these two here and then I have troops in towards the Netherlands instead I could do that and then later on I can use put them in here to protect but right now, I've actually no better place to put them. Or oh, do I? I could put in towards the Netherlands instead, and then bring these over here. Right there. And another. And then bring these in. One, two. We need a lot of these guys, but we also need this, but the Panzer. It's also good. I could make breakthroughs, I can make a lot of changes here, but let's just... do this and put a panzer in here so we can make a breakthrough also and that's what we have in storage there's no more units left for the Germans here to buy but the Italy I'm also doing the same with Italy do that and tune Rome one there and one there and then I do this because that ship it's not easy to get 
uh, when you first start to get the resources, it's better to us to take it right away. And there we go. And these are important to use. This German has nine movements, and we need to bring all the planes over. That's important. Right here. And even use this one as an extra base. And these five there. They are the front line. They can reach a long way. One, two, three, four. They can actually reach Paris. And I have to be careful. I need to have some units in here. Else they will not accept this. I need to have at least 20. And that's why I keep these troops here. That's three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. I'll have to keep two panthers. And there we go. There. Okay, no more movement for that. Four, seven, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's twenty, and that should be okay. And then we have the Italian forces. And everything looks fine with them. I'm not going to move that too much. They look fine. They are not at war. They are actually quite peaceful right now. I have no units. I want to move that. And then we get this little sound with the French. And they attack Luxembourg. Look at that. Always like to do that. Italy and French. They are actually going to war against Italy now. And normally Italy starts the war. And they're going to war against Greece also. Uh, sometimes they do that, but that's not historical. As you know, that's not at all historical. But now they're also attacking. And look at that. Finland, Balticum, everything here. Really fast. And that's not good for us either. Need two there. Two there and one there. I cannot do anything else. cannot put them there, I have to put that in Helsinki. So most of the times I move two units down here and attack this one. And if I do not do that, they have two units here and attack that one. So, and Sweden, like, that was not historical either. But this is the same as the campaign. Let's just do this. That cost a lot when they do this, but that's what the Russians are doing. Let's just remember this. And let's try to get... Let's see, okay, Riga has been conquered really fast there. And now they're going to get ready for attacking up there north. Let's see here. And here I can only defend with this one. And if they got the D in the bottom, then they're really... Or oh, that is one, two, three. That's not good either. I need to up. Yes, I need to up one uh, exchange. They only got one exchange, so... That's not that good. And I could go in here and ask the Swedish naval forces to protect. And then ask defense. Because we are still not a war against Russia, so we cannot use the German forces. And then that's one. So we are going to lose a lot of Swedish ships. All four. There we go. And they're losing two. And now they have a Panzer Division in Sweden, but that's not that bad, actually. 
because then they could not be used against the Germans. But that crazy was standing up that time, so uh, else we've really been getting his forces in trouble. Okay, here we have to wait for the transformation of the the units here. They transport them in, and now they're actually attacking the yeah, they're attacking the the troops here in Italy and I was not expecting that that was a little bit surprising i have not seen that move that many times here Germany I'm not gonna attack anything else right now maybe I can do that with Netherlands and let's just see what okay you can see Luxembourg has been there and Netherlands and Brussels I should be able to do something here like that Let's try to say, let's go for the Netherlands and let's go for Belgium. We do have a lot, and, and then the West there, and Eastern offense and Mediterranean offense, uh, not offense, attrition. We need that to work. Um, it's going to cost, that's why we're doing this. And let's see if we can take Belgium. Holland we should be able to do yeah we're not going to do anything in the west we need to have the troops there ready and then transfer the rest of the units to uh, the rest of the points to Germany movement phase let's just do this And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could do that. And then it would be one, two, three, four. And we can also attack all of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. One, two, three, four. That's also a possibility. So everything we have like has been moved now except off of the planes, except the land forces. There are ships there, two protection. And then that just let us one and two. One, two and then just one and then I need the panzer here one two um, I need to make maybe I should have put them panzer in here to make a surprise attack there there we go better just to attack this one and not attack anything else and attack this one and again do not attack anything else here I do have these I can attack in here I could attack Luxembourg but that will be when you attack a country or area you have to have double like that means two, that's actually four because it's defending. I have a little bit of issue here because this will be one, two, three, then will stop us. Then I have to do one, two, and three. And now this cannot move beyond this area without attacking. And that will be a bad judgment. And it cannot move up here, it cannot move up there, it has to go through this or through this. I could also move this back one, two here and keep that aligned. They have to move there. That could happen, but I could also do no, they cannot leave Finland. One, two, 
and keep that up there then we have a line and here they put in troops but I have to be careful here now I really need to be careful because these are actually at war one two and three one two now we close that in and that's the ship I could do this now one two three four and five and Tunisia has been conquered that's why it's always good to have a panzer in there to show that you can actually do this and then here one two three and then just one there one two three there one two three there and then we can do something there if that's even possible next time I'll move over here you can see they got the panzer they got extra units here now one two three and three then if they attack this I can move them in and attack Brussels later on that is the movement I really want to do and combat phase I should use this and then say this one this one this one and this one I could even use these ones because if I'm going to attack here then you can see the difference they actually got six because of Luxembourg is maybe the main area and then they'll probably put in sh planes so let's just try to to get them to move a lot of troops here that just brought in one plane I hope for more I actually hope for more and that's counter two that's the best for them and exchange that's this one and then I have to move in with units I will do that these two will not be bad and then I have the opportunity to make this chance to move in there let's just attack this and ground there we go and I can use the planes here yeah there we go defend the losses and they are conquered and we've done that then you have the opportunity to do this and I could also wait but I could bring the pandas in there okay that's a good question if I can do this not try that before really it would be nice to have these with us yeah we got them 3 to 1 because we're at 12 let's do this and that Belgium has surrendered and this one is really good we can get troops from that and that area and actually also from this area
that's a good question if it's better just to move through them and go in here and stop them and get all these units here bring them in let's see what we can go in for that's 10 we used 5 there that's 3 to 1 I'm sure they will put in the, sh the planes here I need to see if there's any more one two three four five maybe bring in more there i should have more planes than this that's the five yeah i used them before i will not attack that not with that and why is that i cannot break through anything if i take luxembourg but I could try to do it anyway with the small troops that I will not be able to take anyway on the front let's try attack and let okay they put in sh planes there we can put in three let's see if we can get their offense better then okay first defense oh that's not good then the offense and that's 4k it could have been worse but that was not good I need to remove two and they are not oh they are moving one let's see exchange that's my advantage actually I could just bring that in with one panzer unit But I'm not sure I want to do that. I like this. But they used four planes. They actually used four planes, yeah. And we used North 2. They lost four. Nice. Yeah, let's keep that this because I can always go in and take Luxembourg. Let's see if we can go for something down here. Even that is just attrition. Let's take hopefully we get oh we could get one area also, but two I I'm satisfied with that. Have to move two units. And they actually move them down there. And they did not move that. They moved one here too. And they will go through this one two three maybe do that okay I'll say exit and then the exploration phase I will do that look at that how many because they're close and I should also be able to do this take this one this 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 and this that is crazy that is really exploration uh, uh, breakthrough here let's go and uh, do that and then in the movement that's why I did not like to just wait because I can do this and then we got Luxembourg anyway so why do the other one one two over there and one there one two here and I could make the combat, I can attack this one I do not have any more movement and we could attack that, but I have to be careful here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I could go let's see, no that's not good okay look at that, then they brought in the, sh the planes I used all of them that was not good I was only going to use one or two two I was thinking and now we use the other ones down there okay four to one they should lose a lot here and they did and exchange that was not good 
I have to lose two. I will lose two of these. Yeah, but I cannot do that. I have to lose that. That's not good. I want to lose some of the planes here. But what I also try to do is get a lot of these planes out of the gate. And you can see I took that. And now I can actually go for this. And let's attack. And hopefully they will use a lot of those. They did. Planes there. And their attacking units was lost. So all the planes are lost. Let's do this and that. Then we got a breakthrough here. Right through in the middle. I did lose some planes. They lost a lot of planes. Even that the English and they couldn't be both fighters and bombers. It can be everything. Unit construction. There we go. Look how many we need to construct and how few points we do have. I would like to take this back. And then one more. Always nice to have that. And here we can bring them so they cannot go through that line. And of course also right here. Especially here. I'm not sure how many we're going to use here. Let's see. That's five. That's four. We need just one more here. Let's just take one. And we need three there. We need those two right there. And then we need these five. One, two, three. For, yeah, that's good enough. And we have all the units. Look at how many units we can still get. And here, we'll get all we can. And then we will actually give these points to Germany. Not all of them. We need to be able to attack with Italy also. Bring that here. I also need to bring one unit up here if they break through. These lines are breaking through. I do not think they will break through because now they will be in trouble. Put that there. And there. And there. Strategic deployment. There, there we go. This is where I want to do something extra here. I'd like to put that in there, but all in there. You can see that's actually for free. Or take this unit. Bring that there. I need to have a ship. I will bring that ship. Then this will not be passed through. They will go one, two, three. And they will cut this off. But that's okay. I could actually take this and deliver it down here. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, 
I think I'll do that. Okay, clear path there. And there we go with the ship. And of course, German troops. You can only move the troops to a location where there's no enemy nearby. So I can put that in there. I cannot do it here. I cannot take any from an area where there's any enemy units or if the enemy unit is close up like here, 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 here. Even that in Germany I cannot because it's there. I can take this from this and move that. I can also put them together. You can see that. Put them together there with the eye. Then you can actually split split them also but now they are together here in the group I could take this but not there not there not there there not even here but I could put it here or this one as you can see that's okay to put that up there I cannot put anything here I could have attacked that last time but I have no extra unit to attack with I could also Let's just move these five planes here. One, two, three, four. That's not bad. I can actually attack Paris with that too. But look at that. That is actually a panzer there. So that's not easy to move or to attack. One, two, three, four. That's fine. I cannot move them in there or there. Let's just end the turn. Now it's friends again, and they are having 42. They're attacking Norway. The French are attacking Norway, not the English. I need to have one there. And then... One here. The British has a lot of points left. They're attacking Yugoslavia and Turkey. Okay, I've not seen them attacking Turkey before. So, that is a little bit wild, maybe. I'm not sure where they will land the troops. Let's put them at Ankara. And let's put these at Antioch. So need a line here. Afraid the Russian will attack some point here. Maybe we'll attack Russia, but let's just keep this. Okay, I never seen this before. Not what I remember anyway. Not them taking Yugoslavia also. That's something I would like to take normally. They use a lot of point on this. Russia. Okay. Russia will build up. That's the way they're doing it. They always build up. Continue to build up all the time. Let's see what they're doing now. Okay, they're moving in there. Moving back with these units to hold us. Trying to get around there and move the units up there. Okay, they're attacking those two. That's gonna be a tough one. If they are losing... Okay, that's not what I think they will. Exchange, that's good. They will lose a lot of troops on that one. Look at that. But still, I lost a really good breakthrough there. 
but that was the arts there. Can I put in some ships? Yeah, I should be able to put in ships here. And maybe even put in some Italian ships. Yes. Yes and yes. And maybe planes even. No, let's just try to defend with this. Oh no, that I do not like a fence and naval unit. Attack terminated, I like it. And attack has lost. They are losing all of those troops there. That was a bad one for them. But they can still build a lot of troops up here and they will just bring them up in, as you can see here. There we go. And the Russians will just start from the one end of the low units to the higher units. They'll just go and put the troops in like that. One end, low units to the high units. And bring them in. And, oh, they actually took some planes. Maybe because they could not buy the whole pan Panzer Division there. They have to put them in there also. They're a little bit in trouble, not that much, but a little bit. They have to move the troops around. They move them around there too, okay. And they are doing that, and of course I'm doing this fully. Ten pieces of U-boats and the Western offense. Um, the Mediterranean attrition, Eastern attrition also. I will not bring any more. I will use the units. I need the. I will need the um, points for the units. That's fine, and we'll do the same here. And I will not even. Okay, they actually got a lot of points there. movement face. Let's just keep that going. Okay, they actually brought in extra units here. Maybe not that. Maybe just one, two, three there. And then this one. One, two, three, four. And here. One, two, three, the same here. One, two, three. Can I even do this? No, they cannot leave Greece. One, two, and three. See this French unit could not handle it. One, two, and three. Okay, that's suck limit zone. One. One, two. That's good enough. And this one here up here, I can do one, two, three, four, and five. Getting closer to get them to calip <laughs> capitulate. Let's see here. One. That 
two. Let's see here how many units we do have. One, two, and three. One there. One, two, nope. One. I need to keep that up there. Okay, if I attack here, this one, okay, I need to go through all that. They have a little good defense line here because I need to break through both of these. Or maybe I could do that. Maybe I should just break through this one. And then I could go to Paris. Um, but I also need, maybe need to break through this. But I have to break through this one, then I need A little more support here. And this one is needed. This one is really needed. I really need this one because that one is so important to have. Else there will maybe attack here. I, ha I can do that, but there's no room for them either, uh, these troops here. So why do this? Why not just take it easy and just say, okay, we're not doing that. But this is a bit special. Okay, I need to figure out exactly what to do here. There we go. And there we go. Down here it looks fine too. I could move these troops up but one two three four five I would like to have them there I can also do that next time let's just keep it at this that's the movement and then it's combat phase and I should try to attack something else, but look at that, they only got some few planes here. And I should go for this, and this one is actually quite free, and this one too. Maybe I should just lose this and then get the... But they do not have any planes, right? They only have those two planes they can uh, fight with. Let's just uh, attack this. Exchange. Yeah, I will lose four factors. That's not good. That's all those four. I could get those planes out of the game, but I will not do that. I could attack this with this and then win. Let's maybe this one I can attack with that and that. There we go. They put in all the planes there. We got them to uh do that. Let's just bring in five yes thank you very much for that no and attackers lost all that was not good Okay, I need to go in here. 
bring those five in bring those five in and those five oh I thought they will <laughs> I thought they will do something else here I thought they will use some of the planes up from England but they did not let's do this I will not bring in extra here so let's just say let's stop that and I will be able to make a breakthrough here and use all these three panzers and then the rest of the units there too that's what I'm going to do and of course I'm not going to end the, the attack here I need to go okay let's see how many we get that's okay okay you may now set up one area I would like to get and that is actually I would like that but that's not possible this one I could take or oh, and then just bring in that That was not good. That was quite stupid because now they can take that and then we will have no resources. Come on, that was stupid. I just thought they will lose that area. I could do the. Okay, I cannot move that unit. Okay, let's keep up here. Yeah, I will not do that. I will not do this either. Nope. Okay, let's just in turn. Exploration phase. We use this. And that one, that one. I cannot use those two. Uh, it's because it's over two areas of course that's true you can only get them from two areas away that's this this is actually also two areas but in between there's a unit you cannot move over that would be one two and three that's why so that's gonna be a little bit more tough next time anyway I could move but to where uh, come back this one that and that and all five there it is double and we got them Paris is occupied by the panzer forces and they have to take it back next turn they uh, do not surrender right away that's why I put two in but they have to bring in all their good guns here all the things they have to move all the lines back they are not going front unit constructions look at that 79 that is a lot so let's keep this one that's a good one we need that on the front but I'm actually going to use it at the Russian front instead not even bring them up there. I have to do that there. And now we are starting to use all these troops and they are getting ready for the big one here. I'm not going to put any more units in in this area. That's not going to be Okay, I should be able to put that in my own Russian area, even that there. Okay, can I put it in here? I don't think so. No. Nope. I have to put it in right here. Of 
course that. But I'm not going to use it here. One, two, three. I'm not going to do that. There we go. And these five panthers is also going to be used one, two, one, two, and one. And Italy is just going to deliver. That's 20. That's fine. I cannot put them in there. But I could put that in here if I wanted to. But maybe I would like to have a little bit of... A question for them to move over. But I could also try to try to defend a little bit like that so we have a front here and then they have to go do they have any panthers? nope they have to go one two and then there's other zone let's try this and then these troops are also needed. Let's just move them over here. Cannot do that. Not even there. these troops will be able to move over there and I should be able to do yes look at that and there too let's bring that up there so they will not be able to pass that. Maybe I could do this. Nope. Nope, there's no path clear. They will take that next time. Fortunately. stay there. I could try to move them up here, but that would be Italian troops. They will not be able to defend this. Yeah, let's just keep it like this and say exit, and let's see what they can do. French can do here in the spring. It's already taken. Before the time even, and they have to make the offense. The British also have to make the offense. An island. Russian are attacking Denmark too. Yeah, let's just let them do that. We are getting the points for this. But they are probably... Look at that. Look at all the red things there. They have to get a lot of ships to put the points in. And they will not get them all. Because Paris has fallen. Yeah, you can see they're trying to do some, but that's not going to work. Okay, they took that. That is actually going to work. They're taking Brussels back, but they are losing Brussels anyway. They're trying to do that. The attack has lost. I don't know why they're doing this. They cannot do anything anyway. And they're going for Ireland. They will get Ireland. They're just trying to get... I would like to have the English unit there. Counter-attack again. Okay, we are back to 2 at 1. No, 1 and 1. And that's another counter-attack. 1 to 2. 
And co oh, come on, okay. And the Finn that lost. That's not good. They got it. France have been conquered. Look at that. Victory for the German troops in France, but that's not perfect. Victory. F there we go. And then another one. And then we get this ship down in Marseille. There we go. That was a wrong unit. I should have this one in. Then we get these two. Young. And then Britain got 16 points. That's all they got. But that's also good. Russian can build everything now. Or can they? I think they are... Yeah, they can. And you can see they're going up towards Finland now. They're also putting in the front line there. And now it's actually in campaign mode, you get two turns sometimes, and the Russians, uh, the Allies get two turns, and then the Axis get two turns. That's, that's like they are doing that. Let's just keep this um, Western. Should we have offense in West? I do not think so. We actually got it all here. There is some areas I would like to take in the offense in the west. And you can see how many points we got. I did not lose that many. So let's just say yes, offense in west. Attrition east and offense in the Mediterranean. And Italy the same if they can. Not in the west, but Mediterranean offense. They can do that. Eastern and then the western you can see that's going to cost but they do have the points for it okay that's it for this time i will just stand here and stop because i will save the game now i will just say thank you for watching and see you next time